Hello everybody, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here. Thanks for stopping by. Back during the Consumer Electronics Show last month, we brought you a first look at the Asus eTop all-in-one PC. The eTop takes many feature and styling cues from Asus's popular ePC line of netbooks, including Intel Atom processors and integrated graphics. The eTop, however, is in a desktop form factor, complete with a touchscreen. What do you say we go check it out? The Asus eTop you see here is model number ET16021B in black with the wired keyboard and mouse option. A version in white or a version with a wireless keyboard and mouse will also be available. This machine runs Windows XP Home Edition on a 1.6 GHz Intel Atom N270 processor with 1 GB of RAM, a 160 GB hard drive, with built-in 802.11n wireless and a 15.6 inch touchscreen using Intel integrated graphics. The Asus eTop keyboard and mouse are both very sleek and stylish, but offer limited functionality. The mouse is a basic two button mouse with scroll wheel. It's optical, you can see the blue light under there. And the keyboard is very slim with flat key tops reminiscent of Apple and Sony's current designs. As you can see the keyboard itself is very slim. There is a USB port on the right side to plug the mouse into. And on the left side, there's a little spot to hide the stylus for the touchscreen. The right side of the Asus eTop is bare, but on the left side you see two more USB ports and a built-in memory card reader. The back side of the Asus eTop is mostly bare. There's some ventilation holes at the top to help cool the PC, and an adjustable metal stand slash handle right about in the middle. There's also a cable guide on that stand. If we zoom in near the bottom though, you can see an RJ45 LAN jack for wired ethernet, four more USB ports, three here and one over here, a connector for the power supply, microphone, speaker, and headphone inputs and outputs, and a Kensington lock port over here for physically securing the PC. Asus includes a user's manual and an LCD cleaning cloth with the eTop because the touchscreen does tend to gather fingerprints. Support and recovery DVDs are also included with the eTop, but we should note that you'll need an external USB optical drive to use these because there isn't an optical drive built into the machine. There is, however, a hidden recovery partition should the OS need to be restored. On the front of the Asus eTop, you can see a built-in webcam right here with holes for the microphone adjacent to it. At the lower left, there's status LED indicators for Wi-Fi or hard drive activity with brightness controls, volume controls for the built-in stereo speakers, which are right behind this grill here. You've got a power switch, then another little switch here for turning the screen on and off should you just want to save some power. There's a blank space at the bottom with a clear piece of plastic, and there's a blue cold cathode that projects light down on the desk. One of the Asus eTop's main features is its 15.6 inch touchscreen. It acts basically like a mouse. As you touch the screen, the cursor moves, and when you press down, it acts like a click. Here I'm switching through the easy mode menus, which is basically just an assortment of icons for all the applications that come pre-installed on the machine. Here you can get a feel for performance as I launch the Star Office word processor. Comes up pretty quick. Here's a shot of the eTop sitting at the Windows desktop, running at its native resolution of 1366 by 768. You'll notice on video that the screen is fairly bright, but what we can't show you is that viewing angles do leave a little something to be desired. You should be sitting right in front of the machine for the best effect. Now if you click at the lower left, the Asus eBar is going to pop out. Again, with an assortment of icons for some of the more popular apps like Opera or Skype or the finger writing utility, we're going to launch the eCinema application. eCinema gives users access to music, photos, or video stored on the machine with a nice, easy to use, cool looking interface. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to show you some photos first. See, performance is pretty good. And here's a few shots of probably the coolest cat in the universe. This is Bella Cipetta hamming it up for you. Let's move on to some videos. Now we've got two clips on the machine. They're both of the Terminator 2 trailer, but one is a 1080p version and the other is a 720p version. Here's the 720p version first. You'll notice that the video is nice and smooth, no dropped frames. 
Let's turn up the speakers to give you a feel for how those sound. Are you ready to go extreme? Artisan Home Entertainment presents Terminator 2 Extreme DVD. See, they sound pretty good. Let's move on to the 1080p clip. Now you'll see with this one, although it launches okay, it is a little choppy with a few dropped frames. The Intel Atom processor and integrated Intel graphics just aren't quite up to snuff for handling a video of this quality. But remember, this video is of a higher resolution than the ETOP screen, so there may not be a reason to run something like this on here. We also want to show you the eTops touchscreen in action with the eMemo utility. You launch it right from the eBar. It comes up with a view of the clock. You slide the clock out of the way. You have an assortment of little pads at the top. Just drag one right down to the screen. You can write whatever you want, either with the stylus or your finger. Works both ways. Save your note. Arrange it on the desktop. And when somebody comes home, they can see it right there. And when they're done, they can trash it. Pretty cool. And finally, we thought we'd show you the eTop browsing the web. We're connected over an 802.11n wireless connection. Let's launch Internet Explorer. Here comes the hot hardware site. Renders fairly quickly. Flash ads are animated OK. Scrolling looks good. Maybe not perfectly smooth, but it's not bad. Let's click through a few pages. Again, definitely not as fast as a high-end desktop machine, but it's not bad. Got to remember this machine's about as powerful as your average netbook. Scrolling's okay. Let's click another page. You know, and there you have it. That is the Asus eTop in action. We hope you've enjoyed this video spotlight of the Asus eTop ET1602 all-in-one touchscreen PC. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.